Hey everybody and welcome back for the next part of Rusty Lake Roots. The strange game about a building a family tree, basically. And that's essentially all it's about. So let's make a start from where we left off. Uh, let's do this one. Oh no, actually no, let's do... I'm trying to think which one would be best. Let's go left to right, that makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? So let's see what we got. Oh, he's got a knife in his pocket. I'm assuming we can have that. Yep. Uh, there's a pumpkin. Can we carve a pumpkin, maybe? Oh, scary. We carved a pumpkin. Oh, yes. He likes wearing masks. So I guess this is his. There you go. Have your pumpkin mask. Oh, he's got a key. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Let's see, what else is around? Oh, there's a lock. Well, obviously, if there's a lock, we're supposed to use this. There's a teddy's head and a teddy's arm there. Um, let's see. I'll take him to... Oh, I can't take the teddy. Maybe I can stick the bits on it, though. There we go, we can take the teddy. Uh, let's see. He wants his teddy. Let's give him his teddy. Is that what we want? Hmm. Hey, look, we can pull the swing right back. How high can we do it? Oh, no, I launched him off. Um. Oh, no, he's hanging in the well. Give him his teddy bear back. Hmm. What's he doing? He just... He just fell down the well. What do we do next? Let's have a look. No, I wonder if we do that one that just sprung up. Yeah, let's just do the one that just sprung up. We'll think about those other ones afterwards. The search. What are we searching for? Is that us searching for the kid? Oh, look at that. Some paper and some ink there. Hmm. Oh, there's another piece of paper. Looks like it's probably part of uh, part of what we were looking for. Let's go over here. Maybe there's more. What's this? It's a picture of her with her son, who her brother put down the well. Hmm. What's this? Oh, more pieces. Right. Well, I reckon that. Are those the pieces that we had already? No, okay. So we'll pop these pieces in too. And that will help us. I would expect that that one goes there. That's definitely a bottom corner. Maybe is that the bottom corner? And that one goes there. And that one goes there. Okay, so we got a windmill, the hotel, a bridge, and what looks like a, a church or something. A, B, C, and D. Mm. So, if we look through this, we're looking for the numbers that correspond with these, maybe. Uh, oh, what's that? That's 33. Uh, what else do we have? Well, the bridge there is at 35. Uh, look at this. There's the windmill, which is number four. Oh, there's a hotel. 62. 62? 
that one one two six oh b plus c plus d minus a so it's 62, 35, 33, take away 4, 126. Yeah, no, I was right. Grab a light bulb. I think it's a light bulb. Oh no, it's a stamp. Okay, it's a stamp. What else have we got here? Desk. Dear son, I've been looking for you for so long. If you find this letter, look for me in the stars, your mother. Well, what? Well, maybe we can, maybe we can stamp something. We can stamp the letter with our family seal. Hmm. Roll up that letter, stick it in this little container. Mm, let's see. I don't know. Um. Oh, maybe we can pop this on the bird's neck. And send it on its way. Looks like we can. Right, what's next? More branches. Let's see, I want to do... Yeah, let's do this one now. I think we've gone far enough on that branch. Okay, so we've got some hats here. Uh, none of these people are wearing hats. Hmm. I wonder. Another hat there. Okay. Uh, let's see. What's this? It was the sides on the shapes. Okay, well, there you go. Um, now what do we have? So, what could that be? Well, maybe not so much sides. Maybe it's... Uh, uh, I wonder... Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. And we got a mask out of that. So I guess we've got to put the various items on the people. One mask for him. Mm. She's obviously wearing the veil. I expect she'll be wearing that hat. She'll be wearing that hat. The kid's got to have that one, right? And then he would be wearing this one. They, they look about right. The hats look correct. And we'll take a photograph of the entire family. Another little branch growing. What do we have here? No. I'm just trying to think. No, I don't want to do that one either. That's a bit weird. The family band. Let's do the painting. Right, what do we have here? Oh, there's something on the ground. And also we've... Wait just a sec. What was that? Turmeric. Okay. 
What do we have here? There's a key behind that. But nothing else to press. Hmm. Another uh, padlock again. That and a paintbrush. Oh, we've got some little berries at the bottom of the tree that I guess we can take. And we've got some... Can we collect that in there? Yes. A bottle of oil. Oil. And we've got a table with the mortar and pestle. Let me just think. Break down that turmeric. Hmm. And now we have yellow paint. I wonder actually, can we grind anything else? Bit of oil. White paint. I'm guessing we probably want to do the berries as well. And we got ketchup. I mean, red paint, sorry. Right, okay. So, we've got colours. And they correspond to the different flowers. So the star colour would be like that. Would be red. And then the bottom bit there would be yellow. Let me think. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, uh, pop the colours on there, now. Wait, you can't... Okay, I'm not very good at colouring this with a mouse. As you can see. This isn't going to look very good, I'm sorry. It's not going to look good at all. I'm just going to very easily just go over everybody. I hope I don't have to be like pixel perfect with my uh, painting because that's definitely not going to happen. <laughs> As you can see, I've got to actually fully paint like, to go for full-on painting of this. Which is quite annoying. So I'm sorry, but this is going to look like the worst piece of art ever. Uh, what else? That tree, I think, needs to be... That colour? Or... That colour? No, it must be that colour. I hope it is. The colour doesn't appear to change. I was hoping maybe I could... Oh, and, and by the way, we're painting a picture of a hanging. Just just putting that out there for you. That looks like that's, that's how the tree's supposed to look. Uh, I think that's... That's the red. A red moon. That's going to look like garbage, because I can't draw. <laughs> I hope that's good enough. <laughs> I hope that's good enough. Uh, and that's white. This is going to look atrocious. I'm sorry, this is going to look atrocious, I say. It already looks atrocious. Looks like it was good enough, though. Oh, and she's... Oh. Yeah, this is bad. It's starting to get quite... 
quite troubling some of the action the actions in this game. Oh, I don't want to go all the way up there yet. It looks like somebody's arrived. Somebody has arrived. Okay, let's go do this one now. The lying game. So what do we have? The high priestess always tells the truth. The devil always lies. The chariot lies only once. The empress tells the truth only once. Look outside. Okay. Can I have that card? No, okay. So, they've got cards. My sister died, the key's hidden under the newspaper. Uh, I don't love Ida, my brother's not married. The card's hidden right of the painting. Wait, so there's more than one? The locker code starts with 37, a key's hidden behind the bottom right corner of the painting. So there must be a key hidden somewhere in the painting, but where, I don't know. The key's hidden under the newspaper. The devil has my photo in his pocket. The locker code ends with 46. The key is hidden under the newspaper. What else? Oh, we looked at all three of his, didn't we? And hers? A card is hidden behind the top left corner of the photo. The locker code ends with 94. And it is summer. If we look out the window, we'll be able to tell if it's summer or not, won't we? So, portraits... What did he say? Maybe this one? Can't drag that. Is there, are there other pictures? Or maybe this one? There was a key under the bottom right of the picture. Hmm. There was a key on the bottom right. Let's open the window. And it is definitely not summer. There's the devil card. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's another card. Another one of the, the bad... The bad tarot cards, no? I don't think they're bad, necessarily. Uh, so... Based on where that stuff is, this. Remind me. That was true. So we can guess then that the car the locker code ends with 94. So 94 are the last two. Uh, but then she did lie. She only lied once. So we got a bit we got a decent idea which she is. Now, who said there was something under the bottom right of the... Card is hidden right of the painting. That's not right. The key's hidden under the newspaper. The devil has my phone in his pocket. The locker code ends with 46. It's not that one. Which means it has to be what the locker code starts with, 37. So, if the locker code starts with 37, we could say it's 3794. And that gives us the Empress card. Okay, so that now gives us some idea. We've got to give each of the people the right card. Now the question is, who's wearing what here? She's wearing green. Which is, so I think that's her card. The chariot. And I think hers is the Empress. Now the only question I've got is he's wearing the brown suit. Okay, that's Albert. He's wearing the brown suit. No, not that one. I need the High Priestess card. I'm going to have to move this so that I can get that. I think that should be correct. Let's see. Oh! It's Mr. Crow! It's Mr. Crow. He likes masks, doesn't he? There you go, bud. 
And now he's got himself a mask. Creepy. Another branch shooting up there. We're not going to do that yet. Let's see what else we've got. The family band. Okay. What do we have here? Well, he's, they've got notes in their pockets. It's some sort of image. A portion of some sort of image. And he is still wearing a mask, but I've got this from him. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, there's another piece. It's musical notes of some kind. Excuse me. So I guess we can pop all these in there. And that gives us uh, some musical notes. Mm. So, violin, EG, EG. Who's got the violin? What do you do? Do you just do that and then go out? Yes, we do. Okay, what was next? That, that was A-E-A-E. -E -E. That's nice. C-B-C-B. On the little flute type, recorder type thing. And TLTL, TL, which are not musical notes. Okay. Ah. Uh. Oh my, there will be blood. All the instruments are down. Is she... Is she alright? Is she alright? we got some teeth. Oh, we needed teeth for the sacrifices, didn't we? So there's some teeth. And that would appear to be that. Excuse me. Okay, what do we have? So, that was that one. And it's grown itself a little thing. What do we have here? Summer 1904 voodoo. Yeah, let's, let's see what that's about. Let's see what voodoo's all about. That's what we have in you. Uh, do, do, do. We can use that to light that, I think. Use his pipe to light that. Maybe I can have that, actually. I can. I can have the candle. Hmm. Let's see. A screaming face. Okay. That's the, that's the other brother, isn't it? Let's go... Uh, does that work? There doesn't seem to be any... Let's see. He's actually controlling his family members. Ah, there we go. See what that's done. It's not done anything, is it? Let's see. I feel like... Is he supposed to move out a bit? Because I feel like that's probably something he's supposed to do. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Am I going the right way? Maybe I need to... Ah, oh, there we go. 
Maybe if I move the other arm, that would make sense. And that's got a key inside it. Okay. Uh, what else is here then? What do we have? A, well, there's two boxes. Do any of these have? Yep. Yeah, that one has a keyhole. And we have a pin. And that needs a combination of some kind. Looks like dance moves. It's not, obviously. Uh, hmm. Let's see. So that's her. So she's got a fairly even look on her face there. even look on her face there. Then the other positions that were required were that was that. Oh no, wait. What's the look on her face with that? She looks her mouth's open. I mean they're not going to survive for much longer obviously but I think that's the other position. And she's got a kind of flat look on her face again. So I don't know how that helps, but those are the combinations, I guess. Uh, that was that. Is that the options, is it? No, okay. Was it that one? There we go. It was that one. Let's see. What have we got? Voodoo dolls again, I think. Get rid of these buttons. Get rid of the buttons. And look. Their eyes are out. Excuse me. Okay, well anyway, we took their eyes out. I guess they're to go in a jar because we needed eyes. There's some jars. And that, as they say, is that. Oh, good. Alright, what do we have now? We've got not that many options, actually. One up there. I don't think we want to go there yet, though. Do we? Let's do this one. The Brood. Okay, so we got some pipes that we have to adjust, I guess. Uh, let's give him that pot. Oh, what? Oh, lovely. Just, just, just what I needed. He knew, he knew what I wanted. Can you believe that? He, he, he was... He was so certain of what I needed. It's a moon rock. Well, it's a potato. Uh, this is just a drag. Uh, nothing we can do there. Okay. What else is around? There's a grating. Oh. There's a guy there. If we give him a potato, at least he can eat something. Not that I would suggest eating raw potatoes. Um, okay, so we need to filter this in and that. I guess that'll make some sense. Okay, so we want to put the yellow so we want to connect this to that. Okay, how would I do that then? Well, it can't be there, can it? I can't change the things that we're using. But that isn't going to work, is it? That connects it there.
Am I supposed to connect all of these junctions? Let's see. Okay, that's fine. So we've got both of those there. Uh, I need to. Ah, uh, now I need to. Now I need to get this and the. This one to go into it. That'll go into it. So I'm pretty sure that that'll work. Or am I? But then that won't do it. I mean, that's going straight there. That That one's not a problem. try something what if I what if I light this because I know that's going to go through but now I need to work out where the tap's going to go oh wait a minute no there's only one way you could send that surely it's not that way how am I going to get this tap to go there then? If that would go into there, then yeah, that would work, but it doesn't, so... That won't work. That won't actually get it into there, will it? That's supposed to go there, and we're supposed to keep that going there, so... Maybe it's this way? Well, no, because there's nothing you can connect that way, is there? How do I... That just goes right back to there. It's no use, look. Ah, uh, it's no use. We need to get it to go into the big box too, the big pipe too. That's the only way. I wonder. Oh, hold on. Well, no, because you can't. That would be the ideal way to do it just go straight up into there but it doesn't do anything oh hold on there we go and now we've got a baby because that's yeah that's what we want Another branch. Now let's see what's down in these lower branches that we haven't looked at yet. The war hero. Well, let's do this one because it's nice and low down. Got some paperwork on the ground. That looks like a map with symbols for each of these places. Got a motorcycle showing us how to reconstruct the motorcycle. And war is declared. Samuel and Ida Vanderboom murdered. Uh, yeah, okay. So, that's okay. So first things first, it's this. I think I want that to go there. Uh, let's put him here and him here. Let 
میشی Something fell on the ground. It would appear that that's a part, probably a part for the motorbike. Well, let's check. Let's see if we can move them around a bit more, I think. So, move them over there for a sec. I want them over here. Him over there. Uh, him over there and him over here. Do the same thing again. Ring the bell. Wait a minute. Ring the bell again. Two more parts. Awesome. And it shows them connecting together. I think we could probably do one more thing, which I think was that, 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 and that. Because they fly to the various locations on the map. Uh, yeah. And then do it again. One more part. I think that was all that we needed to do. Okay. Now. The bike. So we've got a load of parts that we have to put together. Somewhere on the bike. Uh, right. So what do we want? Well, that is a is a headlamp, isn't it? No. Uh, let's take a look at the picture. That is a lamp. Saddle. The first part is this one. Is that the foot foot rest or the the starter? No, it doesn't want to stick on. I thought that that look that surely is the right piece to go there, isn't it? Right, wait. The lamp, the headlamp goes like there. Why do these things not stick? Why are these things not sticking? Apparently that place is in the right place, and if that piece is in the right place, then this goes here. Because you can see it matches up with that. Uh, where would this go? Oh yeah, that matches because you can see the lettering. This will then go here. Hmm. Oh no, it's starting to make a bit of sense now. No, this goes here. Ah, it was a case of positioning it in exactly the right place. Well, that's just a seat. So why can I not... Why is the seat not going on? Why is the headlight not going on? Really? Why is the headlight and the seat not going on then? <clears throat> oh wait, I see. Let's try connecting them in exactly the places they're supposed to go. So that was about there, right? There we go. And then this was about here. There we are. And we've cleared another area. It's another family member, Leonard. Is this him off at war? Let's let's follow him to the war then. Is that him dead already? Oh, the table leg came off. He had a key in one of his pockets, and that would appear to be it. I wonder. Is he dead or is he just... Now he has... Um... Now he has a wooden leg. 
this think here. Nope. Scissors. Nope. That key, I'm guessing, is for there. Pincers. Okay. Uh, let's go. I think we can probably take his bandages off here. There we go. Bandages off. Mm, let's see. Also, I think he had other wounds, didn't he? There we go. That clears up some wounds. Uh, let's see. We obviously want to cover the, 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 the bloody marks over. I would have thought. Like that, like that, and like that. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, there we go. That should cover those, yeah? Apparently that was right. Mm. And then I guess we need to take this bullet out. Well, I'm assuming it's a bullet anyway. One bullet. Let's see what else we've got. His eyes are open now. Oh, he's remembering. What in the heck? And now he's screaming, but he's awake again. <laughs> Take another look. He saw the war and obviously it frightened him. That looks to be some people that go together. Oh, you think we're supposed to drag all his bits over there? Looks like it. That'll be his shoulders. Don't think that's lined up exactly right, but you know, it's close. That's his head. And now we just need to find hers. With their wide open ghoulish eyes. And he's screaming again. Let's see what else we can see in his little dream. Pull the pin. This is, is that his body? Obviously not quite rebuilt properly. Just, just don't mind me. That has to line up with the legs. But surely that does. That looks about right. Can't be though. Unless there's something else. Oh well there's antlers. He's not wearing a bloody deer mask. And during the war was he? Because that's a bit weird. And he didn't like that either. Let's see. Another one. Mm, Bada boom. Oh, look, it's Mr. Crow. It's Mr. Crow. It's not the complete Mr. Crow. That is, though, right? It is. Hello, brother. Save Leonard. We need to find the treasure. Key. And he's scared again. Okay. 
Uh, maybe we can. There was a box there, though, wasn't there? There was a there was a padlocked box there. Yeah. Gas mask. I guess we may as well do this one more time, see if it... No, it doesn't look like there's much else. Hmm. We need Leonard to find the treasure. Okay, so we got the key. Uh, let me think. We got this gas mask. Surely the only thing to do is pull the pin on the grenade. I don't know, because there doesn't appear to be any reason to do that, does there? Oh, oh. Sorry, just a sec. Doesn't seem to be any reason to, to do that. Just Mr. Crow. Hello, save Leonard. We need him to find the treasure. Oh, wait, that was different. No, it's the same again. Okay. No, I don't think I want to do that. Why did it... It didn't give me the opportunity to exit from that. Did it? Okay, well, there's nothing I can do about that right now. It would appear we have to just keep moving. Let's put me straight back here. And the only thing you can do is pull the pin. But there's nothing here. Why do I keep getting put here? What is going on? The only way to get out of it is to do this. Oh wait, I've just clicked back. No, I want out. I seem to be stuck in a loop now. I seem to be stuck in a loop now. Yeah, I know that already. You can't get out of it! I pulled the pin. Well, that was interesting. But ultimately didn't do anything of any use. Alright, just stay there. Just stay there for a minute. Now can I leave? There's nothing I can do. Every time I do it, I'm going to go back into him. There's nothing else for us to do there. There's nothing else for us to do here, as far as I'm aware. We can look at him and we can see... Oh, wait. I wonder. Does that make a difference? Oh, yeah, look, that makes a difference. Okay, fine. There is something a bit different there. Only there's nothing here. Oh, okay. Well, wait a minute. There is something different here. I think that comes from that body. That's definitely something different. I'm pretty sure that one comes from there. Does that come from here? There's another shape in the middle of that. Yeah. That looks right. 
These aren't people, they're weird shapes. That I don't think comes from that one. This does. And what's this? Oh, okay, there we go. Whatever that is, that's right. So it's a triangle, a circle, and a triangle. Okay. Okay, okay. Now we're out. Finally we're out. Oh, that must be what this is for. So what was it? It was... Have you forgotten already? <laughs> uh, that was like a circle with a line through it. Like that. Was that this? And it was a triangle. Not like that. There we go. In the end, that was easy enough to work out. Ah, oh, I keep doing this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Another jar. Another human body part. Because apparently we're collecting them. Uh, what next? What do we have here? Oh, there we go. Another branch. We're going to have to stop at some point soon, I think. Uh, let's not do this one just yet. There's someone called Frank, and he looks like he's... Is he stuck down the well? What's that about? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, not really. Oh, wait, I can do this. Yes. I can hear you. What is your first name? Mm, right. Well, let's just check some in. What is it? What's happening? Do I want to be William? Uh, let's see. W. I. Wait, what? Why is that stopped? W. Oh, it didn't. Let's try it again. Can I clear that, please? It was doing it. It was just... There we go. A M William What is your last name? What is your last name? What is your last name? It's Vanderboom. Imagine making me type this whole name out. I mean it's not that difficult, but could they not have had a shorter name? Vanderboom. Uh, yes, I want your key. I was easy as that. Just, uh, just here's my key. Thank you. I guess. There's a guy in the closet. Who the hell is that guy? You got anything, mate? I don't know, but there is a key in there. See you later, pal. I don't know what you're doing in there, but... Actually, let me just see. Oh, that's me! Live! Live! He says live. Damn you. What do we have here? Time pieces. Rebirth sacrifices. Is this what all this is about? Someone's trying to bring this. Okay. Let's see. 
What else does she have to say? Um, to live. Or maybe live. What do I need to live again? That's what the sacrifices are all about. Wouldn't it be great if I could just type, like, part of it and it knew what I meant? It's not Steiner Mathematics, is it? <clears throat> what do I need to open the gate? That would be the timepieces. Don't do any short words here, guys, like watches or, you know, clocks or... Nah, not, not anything like that. Instead, what we'll do is we'll make you write the longest possible words for each particular thing. Time pie. There we go. That's what we want. We want time pie. Is it not time pie, though? I will help you, she says. Great. Another branch shooting up. Now... There's a question there of whether we... What do we have here? Uh, the well, part one. Hey, wait, are we saying that this kid fell down the well and he's fine? Yeah, unlike Sadako in the Ring films, he's fallen down the well and he's absolutely fine. Oh, look, we got... Okay. A hand! There's a hand. Uh, maybe I can... Stab the hand! Because they won't let me take the berries, I'm guessing. Have some... Have some berries. He just swallowed them straight off the thing. Just ripped them right off. What do we have here? Oh, there's a twig there too. Maybe that's going to make us something, is it? Well, let me think. Maybe like that. Ah, there we go. What does that do, I wonder? Hmm. Oh, because we want water. One cup of water. Now I understand. Um, so... Oh, well, let's drink the water, actually. There we go. He's got some water. He li liked that, didn't he? Uh, now if I take that out, I think put that there. Uh, do, 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 do. Take that one out, put that one in. That should get us some food. That should get us some food. And there we have a fish. A fishy, fishy, fishy fish. Uh, let's get him to eat the fish too. That's how he eats fish apparently. He just swallows it whole in one go. We get a wooden stick if we put the fish in that there. I'm guessing we want that. Do we? Uh, okay. So it was a fishbone. What was that? A fishbone and this one. Oh wait, and that across it. There we go. And we got ourselves a wooden stick. I don't know how that helps, but... Thank you. I guess. Oh. 
Let's see. Oh, I see he's going to crawl because his legs will be not much use. Uh, what's he going to do? He's climbed inside the bucket. Interesting. Well, that, I think, guys, is going to be a good place for us to stop today. I hope you've enjoyed watching a bit more of Rusty Lake Roots. And we'll be back next time to continue this strange and interesting storyline. Thanks very much for now. See you later. Goodbye. Also, that background music's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Listen. It just feels like something, some sort of uh, mood setter for like Twin Peaks or something weird like that. It's good atmospheric music. Anyway, thanks very much. See you next time.